Okay, the activity we are working on is called write a linear function from a table. Okay, so in the beginning here, we can take our x value and we can plug it in here and figure out what we're multiplying to get our answer, right? So if I put 1 here, something times 1 gives me negative 10. And the answer is negative 10. Okay? Negative 10 times 1 gives you negative 10. Negative 10 times 2 gives you negative 20. Negative 10 times 3 is negative 30, and negative 4, or negative 10 times 4 is negative 40. <clears throat> but as you get a little bit more complicated, it's a little bit more difficult to just figure it out by plugging in what they give you. So let me show you the way that you can figure this out. So first of all, equation of a line or a linear equation is y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we can find the slope by subtracting our y's and then subtracting our x's. Remember the slope formula is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay, so like I showed you before, let's look at our y's and look for the bigger y in the direction that you're going. So it doesn't matter where you go, but let's do this one. This one's easy. 17 minus 0 is 17. So I subtracted the y's, right? And if I started with this one, I need to start with this one. 5 minus 4 is 1. So the slope of this equation, the m, in other words, is 17. Now, I could put that right here, 17. Now I need to solve for the y-axis intercept. It looks like it's a negative number. So I can take any x, y pair. I'm going to do 4, 0, because I said it before, and I'll say it a billion times. If you have a 0, definitely use the 0. So I'm going to use 4, 0 as my x, y pair, and I'm just going to plug it in now. So my x is 4, and my y is 0. So since x is 4, I'm going to put it right there. And since y is 0, I'm going to put it right there. So 0 equals 17 times 4 plus b. Okay? 17 times 4 is 68. So 68 plus b equals 0. And then to solve for b, we just subtract 68 from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 68 over here. And this cancels out, and it's going to give me my answer, which is b equals, running out of space, b equals 0 minus 68 is negative 68. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type that in right here. Now be careful, it has the minus sign, so you don't want to put a negative there. The minus and the negative can be used the same way, All right? Okay, when you jump up a level, all we have to do that's different is we have to plug in the, uh, the whole equation. We know the equation of a line or a linear equation is y equals mx plus b, right? So we can do what we've done before. We can type in y equals mx plus b right there. And then we could just plug in the m and the b when we figure it out. So we need the m. We know the m is the slope. So we can subtract our y's and subtract our x's. So let's go 89 minus 88 is 1. And then 8 minus 7 is 1 as well. And 1 over 1 is just 1. So we know our slope is now 1. We can get rid of the m over here. And we can just put 1, 1x. One if you just said x, you'd be right too. Right then, we need to solve for the y-axis intercept. 
How do we do that? We take a point, any point. I'm going to use the point 586, 586, and I'm going to plug it in. I know x is 5 and y is 86. So since y is 86, I'm going to put it right here, 86 equals. I know my slope is 1. I know my x is 5. And I'm solving for b. 1 times 5 is 5. 86 equals 5 plus b. And then I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. Minus 5. This will cancel, leaving me b equals 86 minus 5, which is 81. And I'm just going to come over here where my b is. I'm going to subtract that, and I'm going to put 81. Okay, I jumped up to the 90 plus IXL level, and we have a problem here that says, write the linear equation, gives the rule for the table. We have um, basically the same thing, just bigger numbers. And I think we're going to be dealing with fractions. So let's find our linear equation. y equals mx plus b. Let's type it in here as well. y equals mx plus b. Okay? All right. So let's find the m, which is our slope. Okay? So m is our slope. So let's start with... 91 minus 87 is just 4 over. And then 60 minus 58 is 2. And 4 divided by 2 is the same thing as 2. So our slope is 2. So let's go ahead and get rid of our m, and we're going to put 2 there. We're going to write 2x. Now we can solve for b by taking either of these points, any of them, and plugging it in there. Let's just use 60, 91. I chose 60, 91 because 60 is a nice even number. 60, 91. Remember, 60 is x, 91 is y. So y is 91, slope is 2, x is 60. And we're solving for that B again. So 2 times 60 is 120. And then equals 91. Okay, 2 times 60 is 120. Then to solve for B, we're just going to subtract 120 from both sides. Minus 120. Cross that out. Leaving B equals, okay, now, this is the same thing as 120 minus 90. But we're going to have a negative because if you ignore the signs for a second, 120 is larger than 91, so it's going to be a negative answer. Let's borrow. This is 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. We can't subtract, so we're going to borrow again. 11 minus 9 is 2. So your answer for b is negative 29. So let's go ahead over here. Let's get rid of b and the positive, and we're going to write minus 29. 